My mom taught me how to knit when I was five. I felt like it was in my blood, like I could make something out of nothing, and that felt amazing. I was a journalist for 10 years and just started getting totally burnt out on sitting in front of the computer all day. And I wanted to create something that had staying power, something that I could touch and feel and was colorful and was visual. And that's when I started knitting again. And I thought, I'm not going to just do this for fun. I'm going to try and become a designer. I had no design background, <laughs> none. Zero, and I just thought, I can do this. This is the thing that just sort of makes me feel alive. When I was pregnant with my son, I had to be on bed rest, so I knit and knit and filled up this hospital room with all these little designs and hats to, you know, make sure he was born. And one of my friends took all of my hats down to her favorite yarn store, and the owner said, I want to buy her whole line, everything she makes. There's a hard entry point if you don't have a mother or grandmother who taught you how to do it. So I write my patterns very purposefully for newer knitters, and I always want it to feel fun. There's a whimsy in everything that I do, and that's important to me. What originally drew me to it, especially the felting, is how really dimensional it is and how you can actually get something to stand up. It's kind of like sculpting by all these little knots you tie, you can make it into a flower or you can make it into a hat. The fact that you can sit down and knit yourself a pair of shoes is crazy. It's awesome, like who makes their own shoes? One of my biggest inspirations is nature. Breaking down what an autumn leaf looks like and then taking an actual leaf into a yarn store and then matching the colors. And the way things are dyed, it's like mixing paint. If you take the primary colors, you can make anything. And that's how I feel about yarn. When you have the chance to kind of take a moment to breathe and sit down and make something from beginning to end by scratch, I feel like it's a reaction to our modern life in like a really healthy and positive way. So every single time that I teach a new knitter how to knit, if I teach it well enough and they kind of get the addiction, then you know I've done my job, then I feel really good about it.